ठीक हो जाती है बट स्ट्रोक की वजह से होती है तो स्ट्रोक की वजह से इट इज अ डिले प्रोसेस इट इज अ स्लो प्रोसेस उसकी जो इफेक्ट आता है तो बंदा अगर ठीक हो जाता है टेक टाइम मे बी कि ये साल ले रहे मे बी कि दो साल ले मे बी कि तीन साल ले रहे ऐसी भी पॉसिबिलिटी है देर इज पार्शल अपलूशन ऑफ सर आर्टरी कि वहाँ पे जो अपलूडेड है आर्टरी वहाँ पे अपलूशन बहुत कम हुई है एंड देर विल बी स्पेस दैट द ब्लो ब्लड फ्लो कैन टेक स्पेस दैन दैट पर्सन कैन रिकवर विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम बट इट टेक्स ए लिटल टाइम इफ देर इज कम्प्लीट अपलूशन आर देर इज देर इज वेरी माइक्रो एरिया माइक्रो स्पेस आर्टरी that is uh, you can say spare for the blood flow then and so in that scenario the blood pressure will be greater inside the arteries so it will uh, you can say uh, and uh, it will you can say stop or it will influence the flow of the blood to the meninges of the brain so that condition is you can say critical in the ischemic stroke so the patient as a result it takes time the process is delay it takes maybe it takes one year two years three years maybe five years depends so if a person can't talk so the, the area which is affected inside the brain is the broca speech area and if that is affected then it means that it depends upon the areas affected depends upon the meninges that the area uh, how much area that, that on which you can say um, up to which extent the area is affected so uh, uh, we can say that the person can speak or not so if, uh, that is not too much affected the person will be the person will speak but not as fluent but not as uh, you can say normal speech and if there is a complete damage of that area of the broca speech area then the person can't talk this the speech will be lost the speech of that person will be lost so there are different you can say uh, diseases inside the central nervous system the one certain certain uh, center of the brain it can't work or uh, it is disease if it is disease then what happens then there will be there there will be problem in that area that which is which it controls so if regarding the speech he can't talk regarding we can say the movements of the body uh, he can't produce as normal movement as a normal person do so these are the problems if there is affection if uh, the center of the respiration is affected there then there will be problem in the respiration as well so the muscles in this in that scenario in this in the stroke that will be the motor power will be lost and uh, he can't move easily yes, one side of the body will be paralyzed either it is left or right so if we say that uh, the right side will will control the left and the left will control the right right yes, so most probably we say that uh, the right side of brain uh, of the human that will control the left left yes, so so is going to be kya se dekhi jo so the left one of the uh, a human that will have the right mind that will have the right right mind yes you are clear now yes. so now there are the uh, you can say the spine if this mind will have also known about the spine that it, it consists of the vertebra the vertebral column consists of the vertebra and in the vertebral column there is a soft structure that is called the vertebral hmm? column that is called the spinal column not the vertebral column the vertebral yes. column consists of the yes. vertebrae yes 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 and how much are the vertebrae 26 so this represents a vertebral column and inside the vertebral column there is a canal 
And say the Lord will call up the Kirnan. Yes, sir. Where well, there is presently a soft structure which is called as the spinal cord. Yes, sir. The spinal cord. Yes. And this spinal cord is present inside the spinal canal. Or the vertebral cord. And on both sides of the vertebral column there are roots starting from the C1. That is present in the cervical region. Say for example, this is the cervical region. So here there are different roots of the nerves emerging from both sides are bilateral. What will emerge? The spinal nerves. Yes. These are the spinal, spinal nerves. Spinal nerves which are in pairs on both sides yes. and here the a collection of the neuron which is called the ganglion yes. so there are two types of ganglion one, one is the pre-ganglion <coughs> and the other one is the post-ganglion there are these are the peripheral nerves the spinal nerves the T1 pairs emerging on both sides of the spinal cord. Spinal cord ke do taraf se taraf se nikalta hai, right and left se. Phir yahan pe collection of neuron hoti hai, jo ke ganglia banati hai. To ek aapke paas hai pre-ganglia, aur dusra aapke paas post-ganglia. To jo pre-ganglia ke jo fiber jaati hai, these are the pre-ganglia ke fibers. Aur phir usme synapse karke, after synapse. It will then moves out and comes to the post ganglia. Post ganglia se ko cross karte hue, then it will uh, move to the final destination. ठीक है जेट ही को जाता है. Say for example, if it comes to the eye region, say for example, it comes to the heart region. So different you can say the destination points where it. Moves but after relaying inside the ganglion. जब पहले आता है pre ganglion में तो pre ganglion के फाइबर उसके बाद निकलते हैं post ganglion में जाते हैं। वहाँ पर रिलेट करने के बाद निकलते हैं तो वो जो फाइबर्स होंगे that will post ganglion के फाइबर्स and that will move the their final destination. So the root consists of two types of fibers. ये root है इसका यहाँ से दो किस्म के फाइबर्स निकलते हैं। One is the sensory and the other one is the motor fiber. Yes. ठीक है। so posterior one is the sensory interior one is the motor one. Yes. So if I am uh, not wrong in that scenario, um, anterior is the motor and posterior one is the sensory fiber. So these are in roots. Yes, these both fibers have its function. Yes. The sensory will act in a sensation yes, which perceives the sense and integrates inside the cerebral hemisphere and the motor fiber then takes that message from the brain again to the effector organs or to the muscles where the contraction takes place. जहाँ पे मसल कंट्रेक्शन होगी वहाँ पे ये मैसेज आ जाएगा रिस्पॉन्स उसके बाद एक रिस्पॉन्स क्रिएट हो जाएगा यू आर क्लियर यस सर सो दिस इज द होल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द न्यू रन नर्वस सिस्टम द ब्रेन द स्पाइनल कार्ड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ द न्यू रन्स the central nervous system, the <coughs> talking about the exotic fibers. <coughs> you are clear up to here. Yes, sir. <coughs> up to the spinal cord. Then, uh, if we cut the piece of the spinal cord, are the cerebral cord. So it has two types of cuts. One is called the gray cut, yes. and the other one is called the white cut. Where the white cut occurs in the cerebral cord? White cut is the outside of the body, cerebral cord, mm -hmm. and gray cut is the. The central part is the. The central part is gray in nature.
and the other is y dimension. Hmm? Yes, sir. So this is the gray matter. If you cut in section, the gray lines are so you will see the uh, gray and white matter. So this is the gray matter. One is the gray matter, and the other one is the white matter. Right. 